two slides, um, and you know, we should see the whole thing. And, and then actually, I thought it was going to help us maybe remind us of what we talked about last week, where we were sharing about um, the journey of faith in this postmodern culture that we're a part of. And oh, thank you. Uh, and I actually want to just read through these and invite us to kind of explore this journey. You know, remember what we, we did last week as we step into this this week of uh, identifying with Jesus is, is God's movement here in this place. And the top row is a series of slides. Each time we, we flip through, uh, you'll see that the top row comes from a group who uh, uh, is kind of sharing their, their <coughs> feelings about uh, how some other Christians are responding to this change in our culture from this modern world where everything is clear and, you know, and uh, scientific and, and straightforward to this postmodern world where, you know, um, uh, knowing the answers for certain is something we wrestle with. Do we really know everything? How do we, how do we find what is right and good? Um, so I'm going to lift this up and just ask you to kind of open yourselves and let us, when we finish the uh, chair, how did you feel about the kind of the impression you get? So like the top one says, apologetics, orthodox, heretical, who cares? Let's find some common ground. The bottom slide the responses to those. So this one, apologetics, says, live your faith, share your life. Atonement, all we have are theories anyway, so why not make a toy out of it? The bottom, atonement. While we were yet sinners, Jesus overcame evil with love. For authenticity, I'm tired of having to pretend I'm not crazy. For authenticity, we are all broken icons. <coughs> Authority, everything other than my, per, my personal opinion is just someone else's personal opinion. For authority, willingly submitting to one another. Certainty, of course I'm sure about something, I never question my own doubts. For certainty, well-guarded doctrine. Charity, generosity toward any other point of view as long as it's not too conservative. Or charity, who is my neighbor? Community, courtesy, civility, and confessions of faith are pretty much optional. We are bound together by a mutual appreciation for really cool hairstyles. Is that right, Jacob? Or is that Wayne? Community, journeying together with a common mission or purpose. Contextualization, if you're such a prude you don't trust, you got nothing to say to me. Or contextual living, being there. Conversation, because the pooling of ignorance just feels better than hard truth. Conversation, wanting to, go, wanting to understand the other person. Cultural awareness, following Bono to the pub, to the concert, to the uttermost parts of the earth. Cultural awareness, loving all of God's children. Culture is not what your parents thought it was. It's every cheesy and low-brow fad they've been called worldly, engaging, or countercultural, penetrating the community with God's love. Deconstruction: What kind of freedom would it be if we couldn't make the Bible mean what we want it to mean? Or deconstruction: A necessary step in the journey forward. Ecclesiology, who cares whether we know how it's supposed to work? We're going to take a crack at fixing it. Ecclesiology, willingness to challenge traditional expressions of church. Ecclesiology just means how we do church. Generous orthodoxy, orthodoxy is the way it's always been done, or it should be the right way. Okay, it's not really either, but it sounds better than the truth. Or generous orthodoxy, and essentials unity, and non-essentials liberty, and all things charity. Or humility. I'm not so arrogant as to think I've arrived at the truth about anything, but I'm pretty sure everything you say is not only dead or wrong, but really, really stupid too. Or humility, trusting God. Incarnational living. What would Jesus do? I'm pretty sure he'd do the kind of stuff I think is cool. Or incarnational living. The word became flesh and blood and moved into the neighborhood. Justice. Left wing politics. What else? For justice, to redeem, reconcile, and restore. Liberty, what do you mean worldly? You're not the boss of me anyway. For liberty, you, my brothers, were called to be free. I think sisters might be going to add there too. Missional, the new chief end of man, glorify whatever's lowbrow and enjoy it forever. For missional, participate in God's mission of reconciliation. Mystery, a murky, magical fog where hard truths are not supposed to exist. Or mystery, 
water to wine explain that? Narrative theology, just like a chicken track with a way cooler. Have you ever seen a chicken track? Uh, okay. Now we can, you can look it up online. Or narrative theology, being a part of God's bigger story. Nonconformity. We're not all the same. No, really. For nonconformity. If your friends jumped off a cliff, would you jump off after them? Postmodern. It's our word. Don't use it. Don't try to define it. Above all, don't label us with it, even if we apply it to ourselves. Or postmodern, not troubled by unanswered questions. Reimagining. That's me in the spotlight, losing my religion. Or reimagining. Church is a greater reflection of the nature of God. Relevance. Tell me what I want to hear, or else shut up and go away. Relevance. What is good news for this person? Spirituality, we like it, Messi, so what? Spiritual formation, growth and inner transformation resulting from the life of the spirit within. Tolerance, let's celebrate our differences and diversity even though you are clearly wrong. Or tolerance, grace for those who are different. Transparency, underneath the mask, I'm still a clown, just a lot meaner and scarier than you thought. Or transparency, willing to take off the mask, no more hiding. Truth. It's an adventure, not an action. A story still unfolding, not a tale already told. The journey is for counts, not the destination. Right? The truth. Plain and simple. Jesus is the truth. Unity. You won't accept my new point of view. That's but it's pretty obvious where the device where the device point is. For unity. Rightly discerning the body of Christ. The last one, kingdom. The present reality of God shining. Hold it there for a second. When you look at the top row slides, what, what struck you about them? What was like the gut feeling you had as you listened to some of them? Huh? Cynicism. Cynicism. Were they meant to be funny? What kind of humor, though, was it? What's the word we use? Sarcasm. What is sar what's, how do you use sarcasm? When do you enjoy sarcasm? When you agree, when you agree with the point of view, yeah, tell them, right? right? What happens, though, if, if you're on the other side, if you don't agree, and someone's using sarcasm, how do you feel? Yeah, it takes you off. So, yeah, like, pushes you down, it belittles you, say, you're really stupid, I can't believe you would be that. You know, it's mocking. And it's, in many ways, you know, um, it's trying to make a point, point but it's kind of mocking. The bottom slides, um, you know, and, and not all, you know, some of those, you know, struck me unusual, too, but... What did you feel when you listened to read most of those or heard those? I can't, I've heard them more. Yeah. 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 yeah, more optimistic. Yeah, more optimistic, a broader view of acceptance. There's a sense to me of that saying, you know what? Um, we really want to find out what's right and good. Um, we don't know maybe all the answers, but that's okay. We can journey together on it. It, it certainly wasn't a condemning feeling to me. Oh, maybe it, the ones barbed wire with the church and doctor and kind of slap it back a little bit. But the point of, of what we're exploring is the idea of kingdom is the present reality of God shining through. And so we talked about that last week, that in this, this new postmodern world where it's okay to have questions that aren't answered, we need to talk about how do we engage that as the church and not just trying to be the separate culture like in many ways those first slides were. So this week we want to explore identifying with Jesus to say, you know, we want to be God's community in the world. We need to to see what was Jesus about. And part of what we have to explore is what Jesus wasn't about. Because a lot of people have impressions of what Jesus is like. And I'm going to play just a little clip here. Uh, this is from a documentary of uh, a Jesus Camp, a camp that the uh, church has put together for kids to go to. So uh, if we can start that, I'll just tell you where this now. We might not do the whole thing. The devil goes after the young. Those who cannot fend for themselves. That's why we're trying to help you. We're trying to warn you. And while I'm on the subject, let me say something about Harry Potter.
Warlocks are enemies of God. And I don't care what kind of hero they are. They're an enemy of God. And had it been in the Old Testament, Harry Potter would have been put to death. out of warlocks. This is a generation that's going to stand for purity and righteousness and holiness and you're going to serve the Lord all the days of your life. And we declare all those things over you. I believe this so much that I have given my whole life to see to it that you get there. Alright, let's let's ask you that it's not connecting to them. 